In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning, Father. I welcome you all to this Eucharistic celebration. Today is 11th June, the day the Universal Church celebrates the Memorial Feast of St. Barnabas. St. Barnabas is one of the earliest converts into Christianity and who never gave up. Immediately he was converted, he held on to Christ, served Paul, and later joined his brother, John Mark, in their mission. We pray that through the intercession of St. Barnabas, who is popularly known as the Saint of Consolation, that God will console all those who are in one situation of sorrow or the other. I pray in a very special way for those who are victims of natural disaster, fire disaster, and all those who are in one way or the other affected by any kind of disaster that is beyond human control, that by the intercession of St. Barnabas, that God will grant, will grant them consolation. And as he did in the life of Job, restore in their lives whatever they have lost, 
a double fold through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In this Mass, we continue to pray for our individual intentions. A lot of people have posted their prayer request on Facebook asking that I pray for them. I bring all those intentions before the altar at this hour, asking St. Barnabas to intercede on their behalf that God may reach out to each and every one of them with their high desires in Jesus' name. Amen. Child of God, every concern you are raising at this Mass, God will not ignore it. I don't know what is your high desire, present them before God. Those of us following online, type in your prayer request. Tell God what you want Him to do for you. Drop it on the page. Our God is a faithful God. He is Chukudiomimi Jesus. He will surely grant you your heart desires. I believe that He will not disappoint you. I believe that He will not fail you. My God will not fail you. The God of the Session Retreat Center will not fail you. Present your attention before him. Type it in in the comment box. I pray that God will grant you all your high desires by the power of this midnight mass and through the special intercession of St. Barnabas, the saint of Cyprus we are celebrating today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We have a number of people who booked Mass today, who sent in their request. Obinna, as a mama, is thanking God for his blessings and favors in this Mass and praying for God's favor, graces, and protections in his life and the family. Mr. Anthony Wafo is praying for divine direction, divine favor, uncommon divine blessings in his life, and for God to give him the gift of a new wife. Mrs. Vivian is praying for God to intervene in the life of Mwaru Jerry in his special cases in Jesus' name. Amen. Ugochi Mado is praying for the faithful repose of the soul of her mother, Bernadette Adako Madawu. Anonymous is praying for God's protection upon Obum against death and all other dangers. I want to pray in a very special way in this Mass for the family of Ferdinand and Maureen Owaba for divine protection, deliverance, consolation, and the safety from all manner of satanic attacks upon their family and the finances. We continue the Novena Masses of those who have booked Mass before. We pray in this Mass for the intentions of Raphael Francis, Che Gauzier Donatus Aguzuru, Aderemi Fidelia, Mrs. Bro Thomas Idoko, Bro Anna Yawankwa, Mrs. Amaka Okafo, for total divine healing, Mrs. Ijoma, Mr. Lugard Okafo, Mr. Emmanuel Robiefle Eze, and for the repose of Chi Mezie Jewel Eze. We pray for the intentions of Angela, Cheyere Anibo, Iwo Sarah, Chinwe Ezeji, 
who is praying for special intentions as she accompanies this midnight mass with her 21 days prayer for all and deliverance and our common breakthrough. I pray that God will grant you your heart desires at the end of this journey in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We pray for the intentions of Anselm Omuzurike, Mrs. Chibo Augustina. We pray in this Mass for the intentions of Andrew Okwara, Stella Maris Ara, Are Leme, Vincenta Oibo, Matthew Anibo, Geraldine Achoronye, Mr. Chijoke Oye Kezie, and for repose of the soul of Ekeno Oye Kezie, for the intention of Chichi, who is asking for healing upon Peter Messirionye. We pray for the intentions of Elvis Uwam, Christian Arakwe, Antonia Chedema, Eukaria Okeke, Mrs. Francisca Ejama, especially for God's healing upon her stomach problem. We pray for the intentions of Tobechuku in this Mass, for the intentions of Lovet Osudebe, for the intentions of Innocent Tambo, Ubina Lambat Waburog. We pray for the intentions of Ubikena. We ask God for his favor upon all those whose documents have been sent out to Germany and are yet to receive their favorable response. May God grant them favor. We pray for his rebel Sunday, Victoria Ezuku, Oreke Oga, Chinyeru Ebuano, Patricia Nando, Oku de Rimonde. We pray for the intentions of Osita Okoli, Tricia Ogonna. We pray for the intention of Am Chokode, from the U.S. for the in, for her children, Ezine, Ekene, Awele, Ijama, Chekube, and for her stepchildren, Chooks, Christopher, and the Akaya. We pray for the intentions of Mrs. Anne Chokode from the U.K. We also pray for the intention of Mrs. Augusta Wanzo for the intention of Mary Ann Abone, for the intention of Chiyere Okoye, Chike Dweze, Russell Osai, Kenneth Onyeka Mba, for the intention of Jagada Benga, Onyeboche Hilary Ani. We are praying for Chene Majodit Okembechi. We pray for Kinsley Obonna. We thank God for the life of Ebere Agnes Obidike, for God's blessings upon the family of Mr. and Mrs. Obin Obiora Mba, and for God to grant all their hard desires. We continue to pray also for the intentions of all those whose intentions have been written down in this mass book yet to be fulfilled. That God, through the grace of this mass, on this special feast day of St. Barnabas, may grant them consolation and grant them all their hard desires through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, our intentions are right before the altar. Let us now ask God to grant us the graces of total purification and cleansing in order to prepare us worthily to participate in this holy celebration. I am not worthy. I am not worthy. I am not worthy ever to mention your name. I am not worthy. Jesus. I am not, not worthy. worthy. Even to 
Lord, I show you salvation to the nations. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, ring out your joy. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. Sing psalms to the Lord with the harp, with the sound of music, with trump trumpets and the sounds of the horn. Acclaim the King, the Lord. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. disciples of all the nation, says the Lord. I am with you always, yes, to the end of time. Ah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory be to you, o Lord. Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Preach as you go, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, cast out demons. You receive without payment. Give without pay. Take no gold, no si nor silver, nor copper in your belts, no bag for your journey, nor two tunics, nor sandals, nor a staff. For the laborer deserves his food. And wherever and whatever town or village you enter, find out who is worthy in it, and stay with him until you depart. As you enter the house, salute it, and if the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it is not worthy, let your peace return to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. By the hearing of this Gospel, May our sins be blotted out. Amen. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Honor to Amen. Mary. Today we are celebrating the memorial feast of St. Barabbas one of the apostles from Cyprus 
who was a great servant of St. Paul and a companion of John Mark in the evangelical mission to Cyprus. We were told that he is popularly known as a son of consolation. And you know, consolation is one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. The power to console, the power to calm the anxiety in the heart of another, is a special endowment of the Spirit of God. And when it comes upon somebody, or rather, when God wants to console somebody, He gives that gift of consolation to those who are close to the person or to his or her friends so that the person will now use that gift to be able to talk to the person who is mourning or whom something painful has happened to so that he or she will be able to do what? To bear it. Barnabas, whose name truly portrays his personality as a son of consolation. In the first reading today, was presented to us, or we were told, how he went to the church in Antioch to console and encourage Christians because consolation and encouragement go hand in hand. Telling somebody to calm down, telling somebody to keep moving despite what has happened. The road has not ended. There is still hope. God can still do what? Make a way where there is no way. He encouraged the Christians in Antioch, preached to them, and carried out the injunction of Jesus Christ. As we heard today in the gospel, to preach as we go, without looking back, to heal the sick, to console the sorrowful, to deliver the possessed, to cast out demons, and so on and so forth. And Jesus emphasized, you receive without charge, give without charge. Barnabas was one of those who strenuously preached the gospel of encouragement Use the gospel to encourage and console the disciples of Jesus Christ during his own time. And his words of consolation brought conversion to so many. And we are told that by his preaching, so many were converted. And he did not end in preaching with word. He also at the end, he paid the great price of preaching also by shedding his blood as a matter. And that's why we are putting on red vestment today. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we are called today to be sons and daughters of consolation like St. Barnabas. We may not have the gift of prophecy. We may not have the gift of vision. We may not have the gift of speaking in tongue, praying in tongue, the gift of casting out demons, or even the gift of raising the dead. But let us ask God that for the fact that we are able to talk, for the fact that we have friends who are close to us, to imbue us 
with the gift of consolation, like he did in the life of Barnabas. To give us the spirit of courage that we may encourage others in their earthly difficulties and their earthly challenges. A lot of people today are facing a number of challenges, my dear brothers and sisters. Let us become instruments of peace in their lives. People are facing natural disasters, fire outbreak in the house, total power surge or inverter or a gas cylinder. People get involved in accidents. People are being attacked by robbers. So people don't sleep at night because of the problem they are having in their offices, cases. Some people who are in the banking sector, suddenly account will not balance. And because you are the manager, you have to answer for it. And even go in, go to prison for it. People are suffering from hunger and the total lack financially. So people are suffering in the hands of their fellow human beings. We should not be a source of sorrow and pain for others. But Jesus Christ is telling us today to emulate St. Barnabas in being source, sources of consolation and encouragement to our fellow human beings in their moments of difficulty. And that's what we are preaching. I'm praying in this Mass that God may fill us with the grace to become agents of consolation, agents of peace, agents of happiness, that we may be encouraged, we may seek more to encourage than to discourage, and that we should not just do it with word, but also more and better by the way we live our lives. Sacrificial life to encourage others. Sacrificial life to console others. Sacrificial life in order to make the other person recognize the Jesus Christ that is in us and the power of the Holy Spirit that is working in us. The first student said that when Paul came to Antioch, he saw that there is, that grace is true. That God can give somebody grace when he saw the results of his work. Child of God, who is under the sound of my voice, I want you to also know that God can give you grace. Every one of us can receive this gift of God. God does not get himself involved in partiality. Once you dispose yourself and ask him, he will give. Let us ask him for the grace to be ambassadors of consolation, sons and daughters of consolation, like St. Barabbas, whom we are celebrating today. And may God bless his word in our hearts through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. When we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he sheds on our way. We do His good will. He abides with us still, and with all who will trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Not a shadow can rise. Not a cloud in the skies, 
but his might quickly drives it away. Not a dark for a fear, not a sign nor a tear, can abide where we trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Trust, trust, trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and good of all the Holy Church. Amen. Amen. Sanctify with your blessings, we pray, O Lord, the offerings presented here, so that by your grace they may set us on fire with the flame of your love. By which St. Barnabas brought the light of the gospel to the nations through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, for you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and demonios, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. The fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this is we pray by sending down your spirit upon them that the new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God, have mercy on me. My Lord and my God, have mercy on me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and pray out the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Alfred Martins, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also your servants, Ekene, Chimezie, and Benedict, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her Holy Spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. I may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Perisum et cum ipso et in ipso et sebe deo patrio minipotenti E unitate spiritu santi, omnis honor et gloria, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, Father, art in heaven. Our Father, hallowed be thy name. Father, thy kingdom come. Our Father, thy will be done. Our Father, on earth as in heaven. Father, give us this day. Our Father. grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the kingdom, and the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb, 
that was slain on Calvary. Behold the Lamb that was slain on Calvary. We have victory through the Lamb that was slain on Calvary. We have victory through the Lamb that was slain on Calvary. Behold the Lamb that was slain on Calvary. Behold Jesus that was slain on Calvary. We have victory through the Lamb that was slain on Calvary. We have victory through the Lamb that was slain on Calvary. Behold Jesus who was killed on Calvary. Behold the Son of God that was slaughtered on Calvary. We have victory through the Lamb that was slain on Calvary. As in First Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 57. Behold the Lamb that was slain on Calvary. Behold the Lamb who was slain on Calvary. You have victory through the Lamb that was slain on Calvary. I have victory through the Lamb that was slain on Calvary. Through your family have victory through the Lamb that was slain on Calvary. Your business have victory through the Lamb that was slain on Calvary. Your family have victory through the Lamb that was slain on Calvary. I say your office have victory through the land that was slain. Your palace have victory through the land that was slain. I say your destiny have victory through the land that was slain on Calvary. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb of God. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but the Holy said the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers, that you do unto me. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers, that you do unto me. When I was hungry, you gave me to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. Now enter into the womb of my father. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers, that you do unto me. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers, that you do unto me. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanks given, be 
every moment of our life. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanks given be every moment O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanks given be every moment Jesus, I love you. All I have is yours. Yours I am. Yours I want to be. Do with me whatever you do. Jesus, I love you. All I have is yours. Yours I am. Yours I want to be. Do with me whatever you will. Jesus, I love you. All I have is yours. Yours I am. Yours I want to be. Do with me whatever you will. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. United with our brothers and sisters online, let us all say the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally now, since I cannot receive you sacramentally now, come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I embrace you as if you were already there. I unite myself to you. I unite myself to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. John's Gospel, chapter 15, verse 15. As we receive the pledge of eternal life, we humbly implore you, Lord, that what we celebrate in sacramental signs on the memorial of the blessed apostle Barnabas, we may one day behold unveiled through Christ our Lord. be to Jesus. Honor to Mary. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I want to thank you for your active participation in this Mass. We made a little shift on Facebook from my personal account to a page. And it will take like 14 days for Facebook to move all the data and information in my personal account to my page. And that is ongoing. And because of that, a lot of people yesterday could not uh, uh, connect with us during the Midnight Mass. People were asking me on WhatsApp whether we actually had Mass yesterday. If you are one of those, we did. And we are sorry that you couldn't connect. Please, those who connected today, I want to plead with you. Share the Mass in your various uh, uh, Facebook walls. Remember... Uh, our friends and all those who are joining this mass are your friends. So you share it so that those who are among those who are in distress looking for a way to connect back.
can also link up again through you. We are now on Facebook page, and how you belong there is just by liking the page. If you like the page, you get all the notifications. So tell your friends to go and like the page, the Facebook page, Farah Chukudiyonimi Okolo. So once you enter the page, you like the page. The page is wider than my personal account. The page can give us more, uh, uh, give more room for more people to join. And no longer when you send a friend request, and uh, you will be getting a kind of response that uh, you are not uh, that you are not allowed again to be for a good old friend. So this time around, in the page you can you can uh, we can admit as many people as possible, so that our number in this mass will continue to grow. A lot of people are really keen into it, and God is blessing a lot of people. I am praying that your own will not pass you by in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God will grant to your own heart desires in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So have faith, have faith and trust in God. Never you give up. Spread the message. Let other people get connected. Remember, those of us who have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, our YouTube television channel, please try and do that. You could join me, Adoration TV. Only click the red button and the bell. That is the only thing you need to do there. Subscribe. It is free of charge. You will not pay any money to subscribe. So that you can get notifications when we post anything there. Because the things that will be coming up on the YouTube are going to be informations and the teachings from a different angle and from a variety of worldview and the dimensions of life. Uh, I told you very soon, the second phase in our, our poetry empowerment seminar, uh, as a post-COVID-19 uh, methodology of survival, will come up again on the YouTube channel. You need to subscribe so that once it is posted, you will see it, and then get the information immediately. Children of God, we cannot shy away from the fact that God is blessing us through this Midnight Mass. And I want to encourage you, be a, an ambassador, an agent of evangelization, to spread it abroad to all your friends. Tell them to get connected, and God will grant us all our hard desires in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. On the Facebook page, which we are streaming from now, you will see that you can directly send me a message on my WhatsApp without having to chat me up on Facebook. Facebook Messenger to ask me um, what is your WhatsApp, what, how can I reach you. On the page you can see the number, but you can see call now. Once you click that call now, you are getting me directly. You are getting me directly. And you do what you share your problem or share your testimony. You can also on the Facebook page send in your prayer request. Send in your prayer request directly. You can also request to book your mass directly. And may God bless you as we do that through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We are going higher to the next level. And I want to tell you that you cannot remain in, the, in your former level. God will surely elevate you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Be blessed as you hear my voice this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the gracious blessings of the Almighty God through this the merits of this holy mass we celebrated, and by the intercession of St. Barnabas, come down upon you and remain with you and your family in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This mass is ended fought in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. In 293. Daily, daily sing to me, sing my soul a praises, sing my soul a praises, oh, oh how feast the ashes, oh, how feast the ashes, worship with them as devotion through, lost the wandering contemplate,